I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Andrew Patterson, the Managing Director for Great Boulder Resources. Andrew, how are you? Yeah, very well, thanks and thanks for your time today. So Andrew, you've had some exciting news come out regarding the Palel project out near Mekathara. Can you walk me through the announcement this week? It's really a reanalysis of previous um, geochemical data at Palel and we've applied our, our targeting templates over that new project and it's it's um, revealed a whole string of new targets there, so we're looking forward to, to testing those. Now, I just want to draw everybody's attention to something that you put in the update. Uh, and in your update, you wrote, uh, let me just actually check my notes. It is uh, Pathfinder Geochemistry. Now, this is not a phrase that the ordinary retail investor would be familiar with. Could you explain what that means? Yeah, absolutely. So firstly, when we're sampling, we assay a lot of our samples for a suite of 48 elements and, and that includes a whole heap of elements that are characteristic of gold mineralisation. And what we've found at Sidewell, firstly at the Mulga Bill deposit, we've found that's got a really strong correlation with what we call intrusive related geochemistry and specifically bismuth but also a couple of other things, copper, molybdenum and tungsten, uh, but bismuth is the main one. Then the iron bark deposit to the east is different again. That's um, what we call an orogenic style of gold deposit. And that has a really good association with arsenic and antimony. So what we've got is, is these two different kind of fingerprints or, or pathfinder footprints. And because gold itself is quite difficult to detect in surface geochem in, in that area, we can actually find the pathfinder chemicals easier and so if we see a strong bismuth association, we think that that could be another Malga Bill style deposit. Uh, if we find a strong arsenic antimony uh, anomaly, we, we think that that might be on the money for an iron bark style deposit. So we think that those associations that we're now testing and proving at side well can equally well be applied at Polel and um, and we're getting ready to drill them. So what this tells me is this is slow and steady wins the race and that the company is basically doing thorough geoscience before making any rash decisions. That's right. So, you know, at, at the moment, the kind of broader context is, the uh, sorry, the gold price is really strong. Um, producers are making a lot of money, but exploration companies are still doing it a bit tough. So we have money in the bank. Our programs are, are fully funded, but we don't want to spend all the money too quickly. Now, I know our shareholders are kind of in two camps over that. One one group probably want us to, you know, drill faster, find more gold faster. The other camp are quite happy for us to be cautious. We think being cautious is the best approach because we don't want to kind of drive the company off a cliff um, and run out of cash before the market's open. So I think it's a prudent thing to do. Frustrating as it may be for our shareholders, we think still think we'll have pretty strong news flow going forward. Well, let's be honest, these rocks took, you know, hundreds of millions of years to form. You can't be expected to find them in just a couple of months because people want you to find them quickly. Yeah, no, that's right. And, and you know, we, I think we could really put a pretty strong argument to say we're the best explorers in the Mekathara area. So, you know, we, we're pretty much looking forward to finding plenty more gold. Oh, uh, well, that takes me exactly where I want to go next. Now, I know you've got air core drilling to commence shortly. So what can we expect to see news flow wise from your company over the next six months? Yeah, we've got, um, there's a program underway. It's got about two weeks to go. We're drilling at the Saltbush Prospect at Sidewell at the moment. Uh, the first results from those holes should start coming through soon. And then we'll have ongoing results from that over the next three to four weeks. During that time, we'll also be planning the next round of drilling. So we're, we're drilling on a campaign basis, mainly air core drilling with a few RC holes here and there. We have a rig that can do both. And um, yeah, drilling in campaign. So we're, we're being quite careful about planning each phase of drilling as we go forward. Well, uh, Andrew, I look forward to hearing more about what you guys are doing. And I think for the first time in a long time, explorers can say it's a good time to be in gold. Yeah, yeah. I'm sick of reading about lithium, so we're pretty happy with the gold price. <laughs> Andrew, thanks for being here. It's been a pleasure. Thanks very much.